Hello guys, I hope you guys are good. Uh, the video that you guys have been waiting for. I know it's been long overdue. So today I just thought, let me just take you guys through uh, the Luna platform and tell you a little bit more about cryptocurrency. Because here we talk everything about investments, savings and entrepreneurship. So without wasting any further time, let's dive in into the content. So today we're going to talk about Luno as a platform. Uh, Luno is a, a platform that is used to, 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 to buy crypto, to trade uh, tri crypto, cryptocurrency. So um, I'm going to talk everything about this platform and what do you find inside and how to use it and all of that. So this is how the content is laid out. I'm going to talk about the history of cryptocurrency first, and I'm also going to talk about Luno background. So basically, I'm looking at the actual app, who is owning this app, you know, where is it coming from and all of that, so that you guys can double check whether this app is a credible app to use, so that you can see that these are not scams and all of those things. Um, and then number three, I'm going to talk about type of cryptocurrencies, top 10 cryptocurrencies in the world that you need to look up to. Or that you need to check number four how to deposit on luno number five how to buy crypto and then number six how to withdraw so these are the steps that i'm going to take you guys through now let's dive in well with regards to the history of cryptocurrency uh, i want to say cryptocurrency started at the right time these guys they were really opportunist, I have to say. What do I mean that they were opportunist? At the time where the financial market was crashing, like, you know, like 2008, if you know about economics, you would know that the financial market was like crashing. It was a, a bad year for, 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 for many investors and for financial institutions, you know. So that's where the cryptocurrencies came about. Yes, if you follow the literature about crypto and all these computer technologies and stuff, you can see that even in the early days, in the, what is it, in the 70s, there was someone who was already talking about something like this. Although it wasn't that concrete, but it, it is evident that in the 2008, that where it really started manifesting itself, that's where most people knew about it. And you know, that's where Bit Bitcoin really started. So 2008, that's where it started, 2009, that's where people started, you know, proposing that they were gonna use cryptocurrencies to buy. And then 2010, there was a company that was offering you to buy pizza using, uh, you know, cryptocurrencies. And then 2013, that's where it started shooting up. Everyone, you know, uh, uh, liked the platform. People were more aware of the, the, the cryptocurrency, particularly Bitcoin. You know, they started looking at it, you know, investing and all of that. These are early, early birds, people who you just dive in on something that is fairly new that doesn't have really much background but these are risk takers so that's where they really started shooting you know buying and showing interest in the platform 2014 it started shaking and all of that it, it really did shake because it, at the end of the day we need to understand that it is a market it is uh, working with what is currently happening in the market world. So it's like any other investment, like your stock investment of a company. It fluctuates, guys. So as long as you understand that cryptocurrency forms under the bigger market. So it is also fluctuating. It will not always go up. So as long as you understand that part. Anyway, 2016, that's where, you know, it started shooting up. Uh, again, it started shooting and like it, it tripled the, 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 the amount of time, you know, where people like bought uh, crypto and other cryptocurrencies. And in fact, this is where other cryptocurrencies, you know, started 
being introduced and all of that. And again, in 2007, it, it, it sort of went down. And then 2018, 19, it, it went up again. So that's really the history behind cryptocurrency and how has it been, to be honest with you. Um, and this guy, Satosh, is the guy who released a paper about cryptocurrency. They are saying this guy is the guy who is behind cryptocurrency, although no one can really say who this guy is, um, but they believe that he is the guy because after that, they are saying he disappeared out of the blue and has never been seen in the media or anywhere else. So he, he, he could be the guy who's running crypto behind the scene. I don't know. I don't know who, who's running cryptocurrencies or particularly Bitcoin. But anyway, you know, th that's the history behind all of this. Uh, I mean, you can watch a video about this whole thing. The link is here on, 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 on the slide. Now, moving on, uh, cryptocurrencies uh, uh, is actually a version or it is revising how people are, are, are buying um, stuff using money and cards and all of that. If you take it back to the days, people were actually buying whatever they need using items. I would give you salt, you will give me rice. I will give you sugar, you will give me uh, maize meal. So something like that. We, we, we did not have money. We did not have these coins, these goals that we now had back in the days. So those are our forefathers. So those were the Shaga Zulu times. Those were in the day, Moshe times and all of that. So anyway, going back to this, and then gold was introduced. Gold was now a form of, a, 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 you know, a currency, which you give me whatever and I will give you gold. And then from there, it went on to metal gold or metal coin. Those were now the coins that we know, the, your five friends, your, ten, your, your five friend, your, your two friend, your, 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 all of those. And then from there, they started printing money. They started printing money, of course, through the reserve banks. And then from there, the, the, the cards were introduced. And then from the cards, then we started buying online, the EFT came about, the internet banking came about. Now we were able to buy stuff online, you know, by just entering your 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 your, your credentials and allowing them to 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 in, enter into your bank account and take some money. So this is the era that we are currently in. By the way, all these eras, they are still existing in in one way or the other depends of the location which you are in, depends on the setting as well. And then we talk about cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is suggesting that we don't need a middleman if we want to buy something from one another. And, you know, the cryptocurrency, as I've said in my previous slide, it came at the time where it didn't want the middleman because the banks, you know, showed that they were failing people in the 2018 market year. And, you know, that's where they were like, no, they are fed up of financial institutions. And now they want a currency that is going to go from one person to another without having a middleman who's going to do whatever. So that's how crypto came about. Um, now, let's dive in into Luno as a platform. Luno is a big platform, guys. Um, as you can see, the countries which this platform you know, it's widely used at. It's at UK, Singapore, South Africa, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Nigeria, and Australia. Of course, in South Africa, there are two branches. I think one is in Johannesburg and another one is in Cape Town. Um, so it, it is quite a huge, huge, huge company that owns, you know, you know, this platform or this app called Luno. And the owner, and the founder of um, uh, of Luno is this guy called Marcus. Uh, he's situated in, in, I believe, in UK uh, with other co-founders and, and directors or management in his team. 
uh, you know, the reason why I'm giving you this background, I'm just wanting to make you feel comfortable about this platform and what it has to offer to you guys. And, you know, you need to also know who are the people who are, who are behind this particular platform. So that's the reason why I'm actually giving you all this information. Now let's move on to the screen, the home screen of this app. The minute you register, I would assume that you guys have registered and the registration process is quite simple. You just put in your, 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 your number, email address, your password, and then you follow all the steps guys throughout. The registration is really, really, really simple. Now I'm covering uh, the aspect now that you are inside the platform. So this is Luno and these screenshots were taken using um, a web platform, not a, 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 a mobile app. It was a web a platform of Luno. Uh, so this is how it shows. This part, this is where you actually trade, you know, doing the trades, placing your trades and all of that. This is not the part that I'm very fascinated about or that I know what to do. The reason why I don't really focus much on this part is because you know, it is said that people who are actively investing or trading, they are losing more than people who are just investing and leaving their money there to work for them. So I don't really spend so much time in, you know, uh, 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 predicting what's going to happen in terms of the currencies, which one is going to go up, which one is going to go down, buy, sell and all of that. So this is not my part. But anyway, this platform does offer that aspect of trading and stuff. Going back to um, this slide, which talks about the type of currencies. These are currencies that I think you need to look at. Yes, some of these currencies are not on Luno. I have to say that if you need some of these currencies, you need to download a platform called Binary. Sorry, Binance. Is it Binance, right? Uh, let me quickly double check, but I, I believe it's Binance. Yes, indeed, it is Binance. So you need to download a platform called Binance and you will trade some of these other cryptocurrencies. You know, Luno is only offering Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, uh, and then I believe it also US coins, uh, Litecoins. Yeah, that those are pretty much the ones that I can like quickly remember on top of my head. So anyway, this is just the background of the cryptocurrencies that I need you guys to know and understand. So I'm not going to go through all this, like to read the notes word by word, but I'm sure you can pause this video and read all these uh, cryptocurrencies and where they're coming from and what was the reason behind coming up with these cryptocurrencies. So, but anyway, you can see them right here. We have Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, we had Ripple, we have Tender, we have Ka, Ka, what is it, Ka, Cardano, uh, and then we have Stellar, we have Chainlink, we have Uniswap, we have USD Coin, we have Polka, Polka Dot, we have Bitcoin Cash. So, I mean, you can read about them, what they mean, and you know, everything about them, and which one to buy and which one to trust and where are they coming from? You need to know the background about all these Bitcoins, who who are the people behind these cryptocurrencies and all of that. So you can do that research. I just gave you the list of the, 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 the cryptocurrencies that are like the top 10 and it is now for you to, you know, do your, your own research. In fact, there are more than 10. I believe there are, what, 11 or so. Anyway, now let's dive deep into what people have been asking me to cover. So um, here we are on Luno. Uh, here on top, this is the home screen. This is what you see once you have clicked wallet. So you click wallet, even if you are using your mobile phone, there is a, a feature that says wallet. So you click on wallet. After clicking wallet, you will see, sorry, you will then see uh, this platform that says ZA, and there will be a list of cryptocurrencies there. 
Now, what you want to do in this platform, you want to deposit money. So what is the first step to take? First step to take is to click this, um, this currency that says ZA000, because obviously you won't have anything since you are starting. So step number one, click ZA. Step number two, you click deposit. You are depositing money. Step number three, it gives you these two options. Option number one, do you want to do EFT with UPay? What does this mean? You allow this application to get into your internet banking and then you enter your your credentials in of your of your internet banking and then you authorize you authorize them to take that money that you you want to invest or you click option number two which is bank transfer i don't want to be biased but me personally i'm using the second option which is bank transfer where i get the account details of the of luno of these guys and then i send them the money using my you know my my unique uh, reference number or reference code and then let's go to um now this is now this is the part of depositing money into luno now here we are buying the actual cryptocurrency when you are buying crypto here where it says za this is where now your money will reflect let's say you have deposited your money on screen number four how to deposit money the money has been deposited and then now here uh, you now want to buy so what is the step that you need to take step number one you need to click on buy if you can follow this error and look at all these titles you will see exactly how to go about this you click buy after clicking buy this is the screen that you're going to see step two you select the cryptocurrency that you want to buy do you want to buy bitcoin do you want to buy ethereum do you want to buy ripple and all of those you click the one that you want after that step number three you it then ask you do you want to buy this cryptocurrency once or you want to repeatedly buy this cryptocurrency it is up to you and then you click you say okay no i want to buy it once for now i just want to see how it goes and, and all of that you obviously click once and then it takes us to this screen this screen then you know this is where you know how it, it asks you a, 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 how are you going to pay for 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 this obviously because you have just deposited your money and it's sitting on the za account remember you haven't invested in any of the cryptocurrencies but in the instance where you have now invested in other cryptocurrencies you can buy uh, any other cryptocurrency using the other cryptocurrency i don't know if i'm making sense but what i'm trying to say is you can buy maybe ethereum using bitcoin you can buy a litecoin using a us usd coin so you can buy you can transfer them from any you know from one wallet to another or from one currency to another but at this point in time because you are doing it for the first time and when you're depositing your money it sits on the za account this account the za account then it's gonna sit here so this is the one that you are going to click or select you select this one and then after selecting it it's going to take you to step number five where you enter the amount the amount here where it says available za uh, excuse me where it says available za here you can either put all of it or a portion of it i'm talking about step number five that's where you're going to put the amount that you want to you know to 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 buy and then from there you click next after clicking next you are sorted you have already bought and then now the other question that is very important is how do you how do you withdraw money you withdraw money by uh, going to sell that's number one step number one click sell number two it's going to ask you to 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 choose 
which cryptocurrency that you want to sell. Remember, you have already bought those cryptocurrencies, but now you want to sell them because maybe you have made some profit. Now you want to sell them. Now, step number two, you select, you know, I want to, you know, sell a Ripple, for instance. And then step number three is going to show you exactly with the amount in terms of which uh, cryptocurrency that you want to 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 sell. Remember, the reason why it's now showing you the amount, it wants to make you to be sure that it's the one that has the money. And then after there, you proceed to step number four. What is step number four? Step number four, that's where you enter the amount. Uh, is it you want to sell all your Bitcoins, all the money that you have in that particular cryptocurrency, or you just want a portion of it? Maybe you want a profit. And if you put, you you can say maximum if you want, but if you just want to put a profit, maybe you have made, um, maybe you invested rand at rand and now you have 500 rand in, in, in that crypto. And then you can just say 200 maybe and you leave the rest to make more money. You can say 200 and say next. And then from next, you obviously move to step number five. Step number five, your money now is going to move from that particular cryptocurrency uh, that you have selected to za remember when we deposited the money went straight to za now when you are selling again the money goes back to za it sits on the za and then from za you go to step number six uh, you then now click withdraw from withdraw you then select the bank step number seven where you are selecting the bank do you want to use the one that you have already you know, entered when you are still registering or you want to enter the new bank account. Let's say maybe this one, you don't want to use it because maybe it has um, it has negative balance or whatever reason you want to add another one. You can add another one, but if you don't want, you can use the, you know, the one that you have already on the system. From there, step number eight, you enter the amount again. Now, this is the amount that is on the za that is sitting on the za. And then from there, uh, you then, you then, there are two options here. Number one, you either say pay with that, that, that 20 rand. This is an instant payment. If you want your money to reflect same time, maybe within a couple of minutes, I think a maximum of 20 minutes really, but it's less than that. It's way less than that. But for the benefit of the data and you know, the difference of the, 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 the banks, 20 minutes guys, I think it's the maximum. And then obviously you click pay. It's going to now deduct from the money that you have uh, in, in, inserted. Let's say you want to withdraw 200 rand. So that means you're no longer going to get 200 rand on your bank account. You're going to get 180 because you want this money instantly. But if you don't want to go that route, you can wait a bit longer. Don't take that pay now or that pays are 200 rand for express withdrawal. You can just click next from there. Then you will withdraw your money. Your money will be in your account in 24 hours. So guys, that's how you basically nav navigate uh, Luno and that is it about cryptocurrency. Obviously, I'm going to share more information about cryptocurrencies. I'm going to try to talk about uh, this Binance app so that I can cover these other um, cryptocurrencies that are not offered on the, uh, um, you know, on the Luno platform. I know people are very much interested on Dodge a coin i'm going to try to cover that i'm going to try to cover other cryptocurrencies that are coming you know or that have been in an existence so guys please keep tuned and make sure that you like this video please do like this video and subscribe to my channel and share this video to all your friends and do follow all my social media platforms especially TikTok and instagram thank you so much i love you guys keep investing and make more money. And by the way, before I, I close, guys, if you are making a loss on Luno account or in any investment, that's how investment works. You sometimes lose, you sometimes gain. That's why you need to put in money that you are willing to lose. That, that's what it is.
that if ever you lose your money, you won't cry. You won't say, ah, these people are scamming us. It's not a scam. It's a volatile platform or market or, 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 or domain. Even in, in your business, in your business, you can start a business today and put in 200, to, uh, maybe 10,000 rand. It doesn't mean that that 10,000 rand is going to come back. The business may fail. The business may succeed. So when you're putting in your money, you are just hoping that you are definitely going to make money. So if you don't, don't worry or don't cry. Just know that it's how the business works. That's why it's very important for you to make you know, analysis, make a research of what you want to invest in. Research about cryptocurrency. Research about the actual cryptocurrency that you want to invest in. Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, Ripple and all of that. Are they good investment at this point in time? Should I buy Bitcoin or should I buy the other cryptos? What is happening on this one? Is this one rising or it's going down? You know, you need to analyze before putting in your money. You shouldn't just listen to me about what I'm saying about Bitcoin and go straight and buy those Bitcoins. No, don't do that. You need to do a thorough research. This is a volatile market. And don't use the money that, you know, it's for the house or it's for the car. It, use the money that you set aside for investment, strictly for investments. So that in case you lose that money, you are on the good side. Many people, they are using the most important money for children, school fees, for their cars, for their rental, and all of those things. Do not do that. This is not a gambling. Investment is for people who think very hard about their decisions and make the wise decision or informed decision by doing a thorough research, by, you know, considering all the factors and then put in the money. So thank you so much, guys. Bye.